In today's video, I'm going to show you how to securely lock your files into a secure folder on the Galaxy Note 8 or S8 devices. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today we're gonna to talk about the secure folder on the Samsung phones. So previously this used to be called MyNox, but now it has been updated and is called Secure Folder. So to get this set up, you just need to go to the app. It should be in your app drawer already, or you can go to the Samsung App Store and make sure that it is installed. So here I'm gonna open it up and it says that you can make sure that your files are kept private. You can have different types of files and you can lock them, your pictures, your notes, and applications on your phone. Then over here, it says that it will make a copy of your app, so it doesn't duplicate the apps, but it makes another copy. So you, I use this so you can have multiple accounts on your phone. So let's say I have two Facebook accounts, I can use the secure folder to have both of them on there at the same time. So all we need to do is click start, and then here it's gonna have you sign into your Samsung account so that you can actually back up this information to your Samsung cloud if you want to, and you can lock it and reset it all through your Samsung account. So I'm gonna click confirm. Because it's a secure folder, you of course wanna add some sort of security, so you can add pattern, pin or a password, as well as you can add fingerprint or iris. So let's just do the pattern there, click next, and then you need to draw your pattern two times to verify that you have done it correctly. And then here it is creating that secure folder. The secure folder is now set up. And when we are in here, you will see that we have the different applications and there is a lock down at the bottom. So you can know that when you're using an app, it has that lock down in the bottom, even when you have recent apps. So it will show that down here. So let's go into our gallery and you can see that right now there is nothing in here. So I have no folders or any access to anything right now. So let's check out the settings. Up here at the top you have lock. So if I wanna instantly lock this folder, I just need to select that option. Then we wanna add apps. So let's say I want some other apps in here that aren't in the secure folder. It will then go through and search my phone and find all the applications I could add to the secure folder. I can also just go to the Play Store or the Galaxy App Store to download those. So let's say I want a banking app. I can add that to the secure folder. I can also go down and find any other applications I wanna use. So I use the secure folder for work where I have many apps that I'm using or I'm taking pictures and I don't want those to bog up my actual phone gallery. I can use the secure folder for all those. So I'm gonna use Google Photos to back those up and you can go through and find any other applications you wanna use. I'm gonna click add. It's then gonna put those into the secure folder and it essentially just finds the app, adds it here, it's not duplicating that app. Then the next option here is we can add files. So let's say I want to add files from my pictures or videos, audio documents, as well as my files. So we go in to our images, we can then add a file here and click done. And now we have the option to take it out of my gallery and put it in the secure folder, or we can copy it or move it. So let's move it and it's gonna then add it to the secure folder. And then you can go back in and do that anytime. You can click add files and you can bulk add them into the folder here. So then we can edit apps. If I wanna remove any of these, let's say I don't wanna use the internet browser, you can uninstall that or add the shortcut to the home page. Then if I go into the settings here, so here you can customize the icon, change the name. You can also change the icon to whatever you would like it to be. I can also go over and click apply there. And then when I go into the settings, again, I have a few options here. I have my security options. I can have the pattern be visible. I can automatically lock it. I can go to notifications and data so I can have it show certain notifications on the lock screen if I want. Here I can have it show the secure folder on the app screen. So if you turn this off, this will actually completely hide the secure folder and you'll need to go into the settings, lock screen security and secure folder to get back into the secure folder if you really don't want people to see that app icon. So there we click hide and it is no longer going to be found in here um, under the secure folder that is not an option. So we now need to go back into the settings, go into security, and then right here we can see the secure folder and we can open that back up. And then every time you go back into the secure folder, you will need to enter in your form of identification. So then we have the app. So if I want to import other apps over here or remove them, you can do that. We have accounts. So here you can add your different accounts just like on a main phone. And then here we have the backup and restore. So I can completely back up my phone 
to an account. So if you use my Knox, you're gonna to wanna to go into my Knox, back up, and then come in here and you can restore all your information if you're used to use that. And then here we have more settings so you can check your full screen apps, your Samsung Pass, keyboard and input, uninstall information, and all of that right in the settings. So let's go into an app real quick and I can show you how you can add files from your gallery to the secure folder. So if we just go into the gallery, we browse through some pictures. Let's say I find this little picture right here. I can click the settings and then go into move to secure folder. It will then take that out of my gallery and when I put in my pin code or password or whatever, it will then add that right into the secure folder. So now it has moved that item out of my gallery and it is in the secure folder. So if we go in here, we can see the gallery and there the album is. And then if I wanna move it back into my normal phone, I just go back in here, click settings, hit move out of secure folder, and it will then take it away. So if you are in the secure folder and you wanna take a picture, that will lock it here into the secure folder. So I go into the camera, I snap a photo, all those photos are now within the gallery here so let's say I'm using this for work. I don't need to go back into my gallery and move them all over. They'll automatically pop into here. So another way to use this is maybe you don't want all of your personal photos to show on the phone when you're using it for work. So you could use your normal gallery for your work photos. And then in here is where you could have all your personal photos and everything. So there are many different ways to use the secure folder, but it's a great way like if you wanna have multiple accounts. So I could add Facebook to here and I can have a Facebook account for work. And then if I go back home, and if I go over here to Facebook, this would be my personal Facebook account. So that is how you can have the multiple accounts on one phone. I hope you guys enjoy this quick video about the secure folder. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.